Hi, I'd like to talk to you about the weighted average. Let's assume we have three people and actually let's assume we have 15 people. I'm just going to draw three of them. Let me get up, bring up my pen here. Let's see if I can get it here. Okay, and let's start out. I, th I like green. Let's start with green. So let's say we have one person, or ten Actually, let's draw our people right here. Here's my one person. And this one person is going to be, he wants a really nice lunch. Let's assume he gets a $50 lunch, assuming that's a nice lunch. And then let's assume, let's put him in red. And this person is going to represent actually uh, four people. And so there's four people. Actually, we could just draw four. And they all get, uh, let's say, $15 lunches. And then we have 10 people. And I'm going to put them in here's our 10 people. I don't want to draw 10 people, so I'll just write 10 people. And they get uh, uh, $10 lunches. Okay, so we have a $50 lunch, a $15 lunch, and a $10 lunch. Let's assume that we just treat it as, uh, um, and these are categories, so we have 1, 4, and, and 10 over here. But let's treat it as, you just re receive this as, here's one group, one group, and one group. And you don't get the weighting, that there's actually 10 people over here, 15 and fi 50. So you treat it as one-third in each group, just your nice, simple average. And a lot of times data is presented that way. Um, you could present it, do it as, you know, for each of the 15, but here we would treat it as simple average, 50, plus uh, 15 plus 10 divided by 3 and that would give us an average lunch of what $25 but notice that $50 lunch had a much bigger effect so we can use a weighted average to give the $50 lunch there's only one person so we want to have a smaller weight on that that $50 one out of 15 would be what only six about six point uh, seven people, a little over, almost seven people got the six dollar lunch, and uh, but ten people, ten out of fifteen, two thirds of the people got the ten dollar lunch. So let's weight it appropriately. Um, there's two ways of doing the weighted average. Uh, one way, both ways are going to say W, which is the weight, times X. But one way, if we don't have the percentages, we'll divide it by the weight. And the other way, sometimes you'll just see it as um, this Greek looking character is sum, just means add them up. And this would be W times X, where W is treated as a percent. So I'll just write a percent up here. Let's do it, start this way over here. So we had one person times the, f and actually let's change colors. I, w I feel kind of blue. I haven't done blue yet. There's one person times 50. So we're just going to weight it by the one. There's only one person up there. And then we have four people over here. Uh, should we do, hey, maybe we could even do it as, put the same colors. That's kind of cool. Oh, but I didn't put green over there. Sorry. Then four times 15 and now I want my gray where's my gray oh, so gray plus 10 10 people time at ten dollars each divided by the well, 1 plus 4 plus 10 people 10 plus 4 14 15 I use such complicated numbers so we have 15 people. Well, if I take one, so if multiply all that together, and I want to make my five look a little bit better, 
That looks a little better, doesn't it? Okay, so if I multiply, divide by the 15, I should get a weighted average per mil of about $14. Well, $14 is very different than that $25. Now that we're waiting the, t the cheaper mills, a lot more people got cheaper mills, so we should wait that at two-thirds because 10 divided by 15, we had 10 people. In fact, let's look, look at the percentages we had. So we'll do it this way now with percentages as a weight rather than just the raw numbers. Well, let's see, we have one out of 15. Um, got the expensive mill. Oh, except we were going to say we're going to, yeah, we'll just do it all in red. Got the expensive mill plus, uh, what do we have? Four out of, four out of 15 people got the, uh, we said it was $15 mill. And then we had 10 out of 15 Uh, 15 got the uh, $10 mill. So 1 15th. What's 1 15th? So we had about 0 0.067 got the uh, $50 mill. So about, and remember it's in decimal terms, so about 6.7% got the $50 mill. Plus, uh, we had these four people up here, got the $15 mill, four fifteenths. Well, four fifteenths is about 27%. So we'll say point, point two seven percent got the $15 mill. And then we had these 10 people over here, 10 fifteenths, which I think we said before is about six about two-thirds, but let's say 0.67 is equal times the $10 million, $10 mil. And that's supposed to be a 10. It's part in my handwriting. So notice now we're weighting it in percentages. So about 6.7% got the $50 mil, 27% got the $15 mil, and 67% got the um, $10 mil. So we just multiply, add all those up. And if we multiply and add them all up, um, we should get, in fact, let me do it right here. And we had... Now the way I wrote it is, let me get, let's do it in red this time. It's actually still going to be 14, but since I rounded them, I get, and I should have taken this out probably to four places just to make sure I don't have a rounding problem. I, If I took it out to four places, I get exactly the same 14, but the way I did it carrying it out to just uh, taking the point um, 0 0.67 and 0 0.67. I'm going to get 14.1. Well, why is that? Well, because I didn't take it out to enough places. I rounded. This should be actually be point... Um, uh, actually, what is that? Yeah, this... this over um, this one over here should be point six 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 six, and so on, and then uh, you know, and, and these are also rounded. So that gives me a little bit of an error. So be careful on your rounding, especially when you're doing percentages. So otherwise, you'll get slightly different numbers. So on a quiz, you'll know, probably take this out to four places. But key things I want to stress here is notice. The neat thing about the weighted average is if you just have a few people like this one person, um, it weights them at a lower amount. We are only, only weighting that at about well, almost 7%, but 
these people who are getting kind of an intermediate price meal are being weighted at about 27 percent and here we have these these 10 people are getting the cheaper meals uh, not necessarily that cheap but you know about two-thirds of them are there and so we can do it either way one we can just take the numbers 1 times 50 plus 4, four times 15 there's our 4 times 15 plus our 10 people times 10 and divide that all by the total number of of people the 15 in this case you know technically we call it dividing by the total weight and we get $14 as an average meal which is very different than 25 summarizing here 1 15th times 50 four, there we have our four people divided by 15 gives our percentage here and then our 10 up here divided by 15 now be careful in your how far you carry out the the number because especially here where it, uh, here I take it out three places probably should have taken out four but especially here should have taken that out to four that out to four and I would have gotten exactly 14 um, dollars instead because of my rounding a little bit too soon I got about fourteen dollars and ten cents which is a lot closer to the right answer than at twenty five dollars but I would get a slight difference and we don't want to get a slight difference hope you enjoyed this wonderful world of weighted average where especially when there's differences between the number of people or or things in each group we want to weight them differently have a wonderful day.